Hello, everybody. This is Kathleen Burns Kingsbury from KBK Wealth Connection. It is April 20th, and I decided to do a video blog today. Had to get all dressed up to go see one of my financial services clients in Boston, so I thought I would show you that I can blog and wear more than jeans. Uh, today's blog is going to be about learning more about your partner's money scripts. And a money script, just to remind everybody, is a thought or belief that you have about money and its purpose in life. And what is the best way to discover what your partner's money scripts are? The best way that I've found is to do some sort of home project today, together. Whether it be, you know, building something, whether it be going to buy some furniture for your home, um, some sort of home improvements, lawn work is also a good one. But whatever you want to do around your house, I suggest you go and you go to the store together and you will figure out if you attune yourself to hear the messages that your partner thinks and believes about money. Now Brian and I went to the store on Saturday. We had $400 to spend. We had that budgeted amount uh, to spend on some of the things that we needed to complete in our infamous edition. And so we walked into the store and I was thinking, this is great, we are almost done. You know, we can get the really concrete stuff done. We have a little bit more framing to do. We had a door we had to put on to meet some fire code um, requirements. So I'm thinking very practical. Next thing I know, I'm following Brian into the power washer section. And I said, why are we in the power washer section? And he said to me, oh, we need a power washer. I said, really? I didn't know we needed a power washer. And then I dialed my sarcasm back. And I tried to really listen to what he had to say. And I got curious. I said, well, tell me what your thoughts are about a power washer, why we should be spending $250 of our $400 at a minimum on a power washer. So Brian stated his case and uh, he actually had some really good points. Uh, the bottom line is we walked out of the store, we bought some basic things, we walked out of the store with most of our money because what we decided to do as a couple is have a little bit more of an in-depth conversation about how we wanted to spend that money and what made sense. Now we avoided a fight by both of us being very open to hearing the other person's viewpoint and being able to say, you know what, until we have a conversation maybe we shouldn't do anything. That a day or two without a power washer was going to be an okay thing or without framing was going to be an okay thing. And what I discovered in that process was that when I am in a place where I am calm, where I am open-minded, where I am well-rested, that I am in a better place to hear what my partner has to say about money. My assumptions about where he's coming from, which were, oh, great, he's just going to blow 250 bucks, were not actually well-founded. He actually had really good thoughts around this power washer and how it ultimately might save us money and might make our life easier with some of the other projects that we need to do around the house. So I haven't told him yet, but my sense is next weekend we're going back to Lowe's and we're probably going to buy a power washer. And so my point today in the blog is, you know, listen attentively to your partner, be open-minded, have money discussions when you're well-rested, and when in doubt, take a time out. Because sometimes we just need to take a time out, take a step back, really get clear in what our perspective is around spending that money, get clear about what our partner's perspective is around spending that money, and then together make the best joint decision we can. And I don't like to be wrong, but I gotta tell you, in this instance, I think Brian was right on target. So I hope you have a great April 20th. I hope you enjoy the day. I hope it's sunny where you are. And I will be either writing or video blogging again on my favorite day, April 22nd. And I'll tell you on the 22nd why it's my favorite day. Have a super one.